I love when I record for like 30 minutes and realize the microphone isn't on. That's the best. Illustrations by Pete. So today, what do I mean by sculpting with ink? So technically, it's probably not ink. It's it's the Liquitex ink, which is an acrylic ink, I believe. But you could do this with any ink or watercolor. It's the same thing. The idea is you get some water going. I'm going to explain all this as I do it. You'll see in the video. But you just get some water down on the page and it creates a path for the ink to flow. You just drop the ink on there, let it flow. You can kind of direct it a little bit by adding a little bit more water, touching the edge and the thing starts flowing different directions. It's fun. So I did that and I just wanted to show you how to do it. Very subtle. I added some fine liners. You'll hear me in the video say, oh, I added ink, but it's the whole thing is ink. So I added some fine liner, very, very fine. Some of it even disappeared into it, but it looks pretty good. I like doing these. It's very subtle, like the fine liner. You almost don't notice it, but I do fill in some extra areas, some dark spots, and then let the rest just be the ink. Let it just be wherever it flows. That's where it is. So I know I... I told you I got a new camera and it's the best stabilization, best autofocus. I'm recording now in a studio where I could actually reach the camera if I wanted to. I'm that close, I can manually focus and it's not moving. So there's no stabilization needed. I might have wasted my money. I, I don't know, it was probably stupid. You, you want to buy this painting? No. That's fine. That's all right. So at least let me take a couple of seconds and show you this. Okay, so right here, I'm just going to start out with a little bit of ink and maybe just, this is how you sculpt ink. You just, you first you put down some water, you drop some ink on, it's almost like a wet wash with watercolor, but then you can go back, you, the ink, it just kind of puddles a little bit because it's a lot more wet than just regular watercolor that you're putting down. So you put down a drop of ink, there's a lot of ink there, it has a little bit of extra time to flow a little bit. You move it around, you add a little bit of extra water on the side with the brush. It kind of pulls it in that direction. Sometimes you don't want it to pull in that direction. Let it dry first, and then you can manipulate what else is around it, but not the exact thing. But when you just touch the edges a little bit, you can make them flow and get some extra shapes out of them. It's a really fun exercise. If you've never done it before, you can make some beautiful things with this. You can do the whole paint, just draw something with water and then just drop some paint into it. Let it move, let it flow a little bit. You can tilt the page, move it up and down. Make sure that you're getting the coverage that you want and, and developing the shapes the way that you see them and how you want them to come out. It's really a very fun exercise. Highly recommend it if you ever want to do something like this. It's just, it's very relaxing. It's like a stress relieving method because you're just, you're just not paying attention. It's not, it doesn't have to be crisp and clean. So then I added some very fine detail with some ink at the end, just very fine lines in there, just to give it some extra texture and a little bit more shape and just so it comes alive a little bit more. And most of the ink actually fades into the background. Even after I put it on there, you only notice it in certain spots. It's very subtle. That's what I wanted to do here. It's just a fun thing to do. I highly recommend you try this. If you have any questions, let me know below, but this is really fun. Okay, so I don't understand. People talk down about people who like to be alone. Antisocial behavior is listed as like the first sign of dozens of mental disorders. And in my opinion, I think it would be the opposite because if you need to be around people all the time or you get bored when you're alone, 
then maybe something is wrong. It's like you're not comfortable with your own thoughts. I mean, if you need to be around people all the time, you might also not be comfortable unless they accept you. And then you will be changing to be accepted because it's a need you have. You can't isolate everyone if you need to be around them, right? So you have to kind of be aware that you're changing for them, or maybe you're unaware that you're changing to be around those people and changing your opinions. And, and maybe it doesn't even matter. Maybe, you know, whether you like to be alone or whether you like to be around people all the time, it shouldn't classify you as anything. You're just a person with preferences. That's it. That should be it. So stop labeling everything. You know, we label things because it's it's almost like we can feel special or like we belong to something. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing, but not everything needs to be labeled. Some things do, but not everything does. Like, why can't I just be a person who likes to be mostly alone and then once in a while I'll be around people for a while? And then leave me alone again for even a longer while. Why can't I just be a person like that without being labeled an introvert or antisocial? I'm just a person. I'm a real boy. Don't put me in a box. Or put me in some an empty basement somewhere and forget about me. Just let me be who I am. What do you think about it? I know I've talked about this before, but every once in a while I like to bring things up again. There's new people watching all the time, and I want to get everybody's ideas on these things. And maybe I'm a twit, and maybe I don't understand anything. Well, I'm, I'll think about that, and you could think about that too. But I'd like to hear your opinion on that. Okay, so I have a funny story for you. So just over the Easter weekend, had some family over, and we were all eating around the dinner table, and then we were full, and we go sit down for a little bit. The kids are playing everywhere. Um, other people's kids are playing everywhere and then it's ready for dessert we all go back and just so happens someone fell asleep it was my brother-in-law he just I mean he has a favorite seat in our house he goes and sits there and he falls asleep it's very comfortable and that's fine there's not a problem you eat a big meal you need to take a little nap that's okay so the kids are getting a little antsy. We start to, okay, let's, uh, you know, it's getting a little late. Let's have dessert now. So my sister-in-law goes and wakes him up. And he wakes up and I, I said to him, who's Chauncey? And he looked at me kind of puzzled. And he's like, I don't know who's Chauncey. I said, I don't know, but you were talking to him. And he was calling you weird names and stuff. And he's like, what? And my sister-in-law, I was just messing around with them, just having a little fun. My sister-in-law was dead serious. She's like, Chauncey, I know that name. Who? And she started asking him, who's Chauncey? And he's like, I don't know who Chauncey is. So this carries on. We go down and sit for dessert. And this is going on. She keeps asking, who's Chauncey? What, what did he say? What did he say? And I'm just, I'm laughing hysterically. I can't answer her because I was, I thought it was very obvious that I was just teasing him a little bit just having some fun and but she was dead serious she was like who is he I, I know that person it ended up she called someone I don't even think she talks to that person anymore but she called them and she was like oh do you remember is someone Chauncey was that you and she was like yeah I, I dated this guy from my friend's friend or something roommate something and his name was Chauncey, and she remembered that from, I don't even know, maybe 20 years ago. But anyway, it doesn't matter. The thing is, uh, it's just a weird thing that came up, and it was hysterical, and I couldn't stop. I never answered her. I, we sat down for like 15 minutes straight. My stomach was hurting because I was laughing so hard. I, I was just messing with him. I, I don't know who Chauncey. He never said that. He never said a Chauncey. It was never a thing. So it was just funny, and she still didn't believe me. She kept going on, I know he said something. I said, no, he didn't. You were, you were sitting next to him the whole time. He didn't say a word. He was just sleeping. It's just, <laughs> it's just what it was. But it was a funny story. We all had a wonderful laugh, and uh, it was something, you know, life is full of those moments. Just something happens, and you just... It just hits you the right way and you just go hysterical. 
you're all laughing, you're having fun, you're enjoying it. Treasure those moments. Those are some of the best moments you will ever have in your entire life. Is when something weird just happens and everybody starts laughing. Don't let go of that moment so easily. You know, keep that for a little bit and make it extend more than it even should. Because it's just, those things are very few and far in between, especially in our world today where everything's stressful and everyone's freaking out all the time. Just when something like that happens, enjoy it. Kick back, have a laugh, make a memory, and just and bring it up the next time you see that person. Say, hey, I don't know what you were drinking that night. Maybe you should have stopped or whatever. And just talk. And just make it a good memory that you all share. That's a wonderful thing. I'm very into being happy and enjoying life. And I know you, you have to be serious sometimes. You have to. Life sucks sometimes it does i'm sorry to say that i don't want that to be a negative thing it does like you call it what it is life sucks sometimes but sometimes it's really great and when you have those great moments just don't let them go so easy enjoy them allow yourself to laugh and get stupid and get silly and just have that moment with your family your friends and it's something you'll always remember it's just a wonderful thing. So thumb up the video if you've ever had an experience where you were laughing at something for an extended amount of time, so far extended in fact, that everybody else had stopped laughing and they were done with it, but you just kept going because you know how to enjoy life and that's just how it is. All right, that's about it for me and I'll see you in the next one. Did I say I hope you enjoyed this? I hope you enjoyed this drawing. I really do. I, I didn't get back to it. I usually try and wrap back around to it. I didn't. I hope it's nice. I hope you like it. See how I'm extending this past where I should be extending this. This video is over. I'm, I'm still talking. All right.